Crash Bars for the NC750X. Why have I uploaded a video saying tested and why have I got a load of tools and a broken parts down there? Stick around and I'll tell you. As some of you might recognize, this is my girlfriend's bike. It's a 2017 Honda NC750X. It's a cracking bike if you are interested in absolute bomb proof as we're about to show. The bike is filthy, that's because it's about two degrees outside. She hasn't cleaned it and I cleaned it last week. Now, excuse my pronunciation, but these are Puig, Puge, Puig, Puge. The Puig, or Puge, or Puig, or however you want to say it. I'm not Spanish, so please feel free to slate me in the comments. They're the crash bars for the NC750X. I think they also fit the NC700X and the non X branded bikes, so like the more naked versions. They were around £115 on Amazon. So pretty cheap to be fair. The reason we went for these is because they're a little bit less intrusive. You get some of the bigger ones that actually stick out quite a lot or come all the way up here. And although they look okay, they just don't quite look as subtle as these. But these have done a pretty good job. Unfortunately, my girlfriend was riding to work a week or so ago and um, she came around the corner on a dark lane and there was just, the road was flooded. It was like two and a half feet of water. I'll put in a clip now of roughly how slow the cars were going through and it when, basically when I went to pick her up, I drove through and the water came up over my bonnet. That's how deep the flood was. She didn't really have time to react. She got most of the way through it and then it picked the bike up and just dumped her on her side. She didn't really have much of an option, um, but yeah, it threw her off unfortunately and uh, resulted in her being freezing and wet and losing one of our brand new fog lights, which is really irritating, but you know, life goes on, she's okay, which is the main thing. There wasn't really a way around it. I don't think she could have done much to sort of save that. Now, unless you're Lyndon Poskett, I don't want you telling me how she could have saved it by doing a dank wheelie through the middle of the flood or bunny hopping it because sharp. Um, but that has brought me on to doing an update on these. As you can see, they're mounted round the frame here. They are mounted down the bottom here, as you can see in there. Hopefully you'll be able to see anyway. And then they're also mounted here, which is another chassis mounting point. They are rock solid. They aren't going anywhere. This went completely on its side, doing about 30 mile an hour. Yes, okay, the impact was possibly softened a bit by the fact it being water rather than just concrete. But we've got a few little scratches on the bars down here, which are basically nothing. Like they're not even sharp to run my thing, fingers and thumbs over. But other than that, the only damage on the bike is a small scratch here. And unfortunately, the Givy handguard has broken off. I managed to break this by trying to, so the lever bent a little bit and not me trying to straighten it out for her to ride home basically snapped it. Other than those small cosmetic things and the brake lever, which was my fault, and the bike is completely unscathed. She managed to pick it up, I think with the help of someone else, because it's a weighty bike anyway. Got it to the side of the road and started it. It ran, it ran completely fine. The only negative that came of this was in the evening, because she still went to work that day, because uh, she felt fine. In the evening, I think where she'd been on the side of the road with her lights and the hazards on, the, it drained the battery a bit. So I had to go and give it a quick bump start. Since then, it's been completely fine. The bike runs fine, it rides fine. I'm gonna take the handlebars off. You can essentially bend handlebars without realizing they're bent and you just means you ride a little bit odd. So I'm gonna check there straight, but everything else is completely and utterly fine. So call it about 100 pounds for a new, new set of fog lights, which are 80 pounds, a new lever, which was 20 pounds. I'll fix the Gibby handguard because there's no, like they just need some plastic welding but a hundred pounds worth of damage for going completely over on her side at 30 mile an hour. I think that's done pretty well. I've got the RNG crash bungs on mine. After seeing the, how well these have performed, I think I'm gonna get myself some crash bars instead. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.